Welcome students. Today let's learn one of the method of displaying a set of data. That is box in whisker plots. Let's understand what are box and whisker plots. Box and whisker plots are helpful in interpreting the distribution of data. It contains a box in the middle which represents 50% of the data. It also contains whiskers at both the ends to represent the remaining of the data. This is how we represent box and whisker plot. This box and whisker plot shows the total matrix scores. In this we can see that 24 is the maximum value while 20 represents 75 percent of the value. 13 represents median that is 50 percent of the value while 8 represents 25 percent of the value. At the last and also the least 2 represents the minimum value. Now let's look at the components of this box in this plot. Over here minimum score represents the lower extreme while maximum score represents the upper extreme. Middle value represents median while 25% value represents lower quartile and 75% value represents upper quartile. Now this is the diagrammatic representation of the box and whisker plot showing total matrix scores. Now here is the easy way to remember this. There are three parts that complete cat's whisker. First is nose. It lies in the middle and is the median of all. It has whiskers on both the sides. Whiskers on left is lower quartile, while whiskers on right is the upper quartile. Now let's look at few steps which we use to make a box in whisker plot. For this, let's consider an example that Betty had to catch and measure the length of 13 fishes in a lake. And these are the length given to you. Now very first step will be to write down this data in increasing order. That is from smallest to largest. We get this. Now after this find the median of all the numbers. Since there are total 13 numbers, so middle one will be the seventh number. Now in this data the seventh number is number 12. So we will say that 12 is the median of this data. While 5 is the lower extreme and 20 is the upper extreme. Now next step will be to find the median of lower set of values which will be called as lower median or lower quartile. Here the exact center is basically halfway between 8 and 9 which would be 8.5. So we can see that lower quartile of this set of data is 8.5. Similarly we will find the median of upper set of values which will be called as upper median or upper quartile. Over here the exact center is halfway between 14 and 14 which must be 14. So that means the upper median or upper quartile of this set of data is simply 14. Now let's look at how to graph this result. For this, we will make an appropriate number line and plot the following points. That is lower extreme, median, upper
upper extreme, lower quartile and finally upper quartile. First of all draw a ordinary number line and then locate the main median that is 12 using vertical line just above your number line. After this locate the lower median 8.5 and upper median 14 with the similar vertical lines. Now finally draw a box using lower and upper median lines as endpoints. At the last draw the whiskers extended out to the data smallest number 5 and largest number 20. So this is the final box and whisker plot for the given data. With this we come to end of this topic. Goodbye and see you later.